Hi, hello and welcome to the next session of ABAP on Cloud. In this session, we will try to understand the basics of cloud computing. So let us first have the definition of cloud computing. What do we exactly mean by cloud computing? Cloud computing is a cloud computing is a model of computing that is on demand based access to resources anytime anywhere and role based so when we define the cloud computing it is the access to the resources from anywhere role based and at any time so let us try to break this definition further if we try to break this uh, definition further we understand what are the resources that are part of cloud computing resources that are part of cloud computing include number 1 servers number 2 storage devices then the network devices and the networking so let's generalize this and mention it as networking then we have the applications and the services okay so the services are nothing but the software services so the services mean software services so all these are part of cloud computing resources now if we look at the definition again let us try to understand what does it mean cloud computing is a model of computing that is on demand very very important definition on demand so on demand means that a user or a enterprise or a company who is trying to access these resources shall get all these resources on demand from anywhere any time and it shall be role based so the subscription or the price that needs to be paid to access these resources is defined by the companies who serve these resources so now let us try to understand who are these companies that offer these resources so now let us try to give a name to them so if we have to give the names of the companies which provide the resources then the name would be cloud computing service providers so the cloud service providers service providers so there are lot of uh, cloud service providers each offer a different packages and subscription to these resources the very uh, very famous and mostly used uh, commonly used service providers include google cloud then microsoft azure uh, let's define the uh, google cloud as google cloud platform or nothing but gcp these terminologies are very important to understand what these cloud service providers are so gcp means google cloud platform microsoft azure similarly we have aws nothing but similarly we have another very important and uh, a major cloud service provider known as amazon web services so aws amazon web services very famous and uh, many of you would have heard about this and might have also subscribed to the different services given by the amazon
So Amazon Web Services, nothing but AWS is another example of cloud service provider. Also, we have Alibaba Cloud uh, by the famous Alibaba company. If you es essentially look at the, the cloud computing model, uh, it is very evident that it is on demand and, and, and accessible from anywhere. So again, let's, let's try to understand it in, in a deeper sense. So when you tell it as anytime, anywhere, now anytime means it's a subscription based or on demand. Anywhere means that any device can access it. So it can be accessed by any device let us say uh, any laptop it can be a computer largely uh, mobile devices uh, so on so forth so if we look at the range of uh, the, the, the range offered by cloud computing resources is very broad so it is very important to understand what are its features. So let us take the features one by one. Now let us list them down. Okay. The first is nothing but the on-demand self-service. What does this mean? On-demand self-service means that a subscriber or a user who wants to access any of these resources it means a subscriber or any company who is trying to access these cloud resources can raise a request and get the access to them without any intervention or any support from IT staff or any administrator. So this actually takes out a middleman who is responsible to bridge the gap between a request or requester who is trying to access these resources and a service provider who is trying to cater to the needs of the company or an individual requester. So this is a very important step uh, in, in order to almost automate and reduce the manual intervention and have a flexibility to do it on demand without trying to wait for any uh, any any manual uh, intervention by human interference okay the second point very important or the important feature is the broad network access again as as we spoke that uh, the web portals or the mobile applications that are built in the present age and present generation has to be deployed across different devices and and also it should be applicable uh, to any of the users who are trying to access from different devices so it can be tablets it can be mobiles it can be laptops or any devices and when we mean network access the broad network access it means to say that the different features that are part of the solution which is provided to the end user is available right across all these devices that are part of the platform. This gives a end user a seamless access to same set of resources and the solutions. So essentially the application can be run from any of these devices from any part of the world. Now let us try to look at the third and very important feature of cloud computing. It is known as the resource pooling. So what we exactly mean of resource pooling is that the resources that are part of the cloud computing platform respectively like the computers, computers, the uh, computational, let us say the computational, computational capability. It can be the network or the networking devices and the other like the storage uh, which can be memory devices are all part of this resource pool so when we are having 
a cloud computing feature enabled so any of these resources computational capability network devices storage can be accessed at any given point of time and also the next point which actually tries to enhance this uh, availability of resources is nothing but the rapid elasticity okay so uh, if we merge point 2 and 2 3 and 4 what it essentially means is that in com- cloud computing we have the rapid elasticity that means at any given point of time these resources again i repeat the resources like the network devices storage devices like memory and the computational capability can be upscaled and downscaled basis on the demand very very important features of cloud computing rapid elasticity so rapid elastic mean that it means that there is capability to upscale downscale the features of your solutions or the resource elasticity okay moving on to the next point the fifth important point of cloud computing is metering what do you mean by metering metering means to track to track the consumption patterns to track the consumption patterns in a given cloud platform so it's very important for two things now when we are looking at the cloud computing features this would be rolled out to many users and which which is wide across the world which is spread wide across the world so there is also always a need for the administrators or the cloud platform admin to look at what are the consumption patterns which time it has been consumed how much it has been consumed which region the consumption is happening most from and also where it is least so all this enables not only to optimize the resource pooling and the consumption patterns but also optimizes the cost effectiveness of the solution and the rapid uh, deployment of resources based on the a uh, demand of a particular time zone or particular country on a particular given point of time so this adaptation that can come as a flexibility to the solution providers enables them to cut cost and also optimize the resource consumption very important point metering so metering also comes as one of the features of cloud computing moving on to the next topic it is known as rapid deployment rapid deployment why why is it very important uh, feature of cloud computing is because the time to market the time to market is cut down substantially when there is a feature of cloud computing so any given point of time if the cloud service provider is able to roll out the new features into a production environment there is no need to wait for the confirmation from different stakeholders but based on the request which is raised by the solution provider or the company which is overall looking at the solution provisioning can make this production movement quite effortlessly and seamlessly that is why the rapid deployment is very important so that the code movement let's say in terms of sap uh, there is a movement of code from development to quality and then to production it becomes a easier uh, feature part of the cloud computing that enables the movement of the code from dev to quality to production so any given point of time without having to wait for any of the servers the features the new latest features can be rolled out very easily so the rapid deployment can be achieved effortlessly so let us now conclude what are these features so i'll run through them again for your better understanding so let us go one by one one important features the first important features of of cloud computing is on demand self service 
that means any end user or the organization who wish, wishes to utilize the cloud computing resources can do it without having to wait for any administrative intervention or manual intervention and can just raise a request and wait for the resource to be allocated any given point of time. Number two is the broad network access essentially means that these cloud computing features or the applications can be accessed throughout the world wherever there is a provisioning of the services and internet capability is present and right across any of the devices without having to compromise on the features which is given for a particular device. So the device compatibility can also be achieved through cloud computing. Uh, the third point, the resource pooling, computational capability, network devices and the storage all can be bundled up together and the upscaling and the downscaling can be done seamlessly without any effort. The fourth point was the rapid elasticity that you get, which contemplates the point three because rapid elasticity means that the resource can be uh, downscale, linked, delinked, decoupled, coupled at any given point of time. They can be decommissioned and commissioned at any given point of time. The fifth point, metering. It is a very important point to keep a track on the consumption patterns in a given uh, cloud platform. And the final point, uh, the rapid deployment. That means at any given point of time, the code movement can be done from any of the system to the next system. So let us conclude the cloud computing features here.